Hey guys, um, I'm not feeling well, so I'm not really working on anything related to Fable 2 or GoldenEye 007 being decomp, so just try to remember that. And um, we're going to jump into this. This is Cooler Control version 2.0, which is really great. And honestly, I was kind of waiting for this. So it's got a new UI theme, new bad dashboards, power usage to plus display for CPUs and GPUs that support it, desktop notifications for important events and issues, alerts to be notified when temperatures or fan speed exceeds an expected range, uh, application status badge with name and health status, which I believe it's not doing right now. It probably needs to do something else. You got polling rate controls, LCD loop over GIF folder feature, uh, many changes for the major release of every component. Mode UX and business logic has been reworked. Disable formerly, formerly blacklist devices for, yeah. And a new desktop uh, application based on QT. Gross. I wish it was GTK and Rust. That would have been better. And various daemon improvements. All the readmes have been refreshed. And there you go. So we went from 145 to version two okay and there's all the stuff here uh, that you can do but let's minimize this maximize this and take a look at everything that's here so if i click this we have temperatures we got power so we're only using 64.3 watts we have load frequency right there my gpu temps 29c my GPU power is 43 watts, which is awesome. The GPU loads 24%. That's mostly OBS. So give my fan speeds right there. My Wi-Fi temps 33. Look at all the stuff that's in here. Great googly moogly. There's just a ton of stuff. There's modes. Modes. No. There's dashboard. There's a new dashboard. You can make new dashboards. I don't know what that will do. I don't want to jump into that. But you got modes, you got profiles, you got functions, you got alerts, you got a custom sensor. I don't know what modes do. Default fan profile, okay, system. This is what your entire system is currently doing. What are the settings like? Time format, uh, 12 hours, correct. Frequency, let's do gigahertz instead. I like gigahertz, it looks better than megahertz. Uh, entities below sensors. That works. Um, my main issue, I think in a nutshell, is that okay, it is showing up. This is this is this is something I need to like install DKMS for. So that's great. You have devices. Cool. Uh, you have the daemon. And updates to local host, applies, has integration, CPU a compress API load. To receive a main note, this will increase CPU usage, so don't trust that. And then there's the polling rate. So every one second it updates, which is fine. And honestly, I don't need every one second. I think every five seconds would probably be better. Honestly. Okay. So I don't mind that at all. Damn it, it did not work. Uh, your desktop. Sure. Okay, it's restarting. Let's see what it does. Okay, great. Let's get back to what we're doing. Five seconds for the pulling rate. Good. Start and tray, zoom, desktop startup time. And then it has an entire option for the ThinkPad. I'm guessing the guy must use the ThinkPad or something. Uh, log out, open in browser. Okay, well, that's cool that we can just open it in browser. That's That's very nifty. So this update seems to be pretty major. I wouldn't mind at all if they managed to integrate overclocking support when it comes to uh, the GPU, like a small little section, that would be nifty. And also one for the CPU eventually when we're able to overclock our CPU. Uh, another application did come out that I wanna go over later on, but for the moment, this is all about cooler control and I'm here for it. I have a video on how to set up cooler control. You guys can check that out if you need to. It's in the playlist in the description below. 
There's a huge playlist full of tons of Linux stuff, so there's that. Again, Linux has been slow, but there's been two new graphics subscribers for NVIDIA so far. Uh, I'm on uh, the, the Vulkan developer driver right now because it does fix a lot of things in Monster Hunter Rise, and we will be going over that soon. Monster Hunter Wilds, my bad. And, uh, and NVIDIA. NVIDIA has also stated that they recognized the 20 to 30% performance loss uh, when compared to Windows for the NVIDIA drivers, and they are looking into that. So we can look forward to that when it gets fixed. GNOME 48 is supposed to come out tomorrow. I'll see if I can get a video done for that if I'm feeling better. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.